Idaho is famous for its raptors, and one of the most visible might just be towering over a road you often travel. Steve Liebenthal explains in tonight's Idaho Backroads. If you've ever noticed a nest perched right on top of a power pole like this one near Eagle Island and wondered what lives there, here is your answer. This is an osprey nest, and that is a very efficient fish catching raptor bringing dinner home. Osprey are a pretty large raptor that live here in Idaho. They're actually throughout the state and throughout most of the country. Um, they nest near water. They feed almost exclusively on fish, um, and they can catch pretty large fish. Osprey, also known as fish hawks, focus most of their attention on places where fish live, especially fish that linger near the surface. And they can be just as stubborn about getting skunked as human anglers. Within five minutes, we watched this osprey dive to the surface of Esther's pond not once, not twice, but three times, hitting the water with full force, but coming up with empty talons. Okay, make that three and a half. Avian ecologist Colleen Moulton says they don't actually dive underwater, and as you can see from this photo, their talons are the key to their ability to catch fish, actually hitting the water before anything else. Osprey like to build their nests high and often choose to do so on the tops of telephone poles. That's why Fish and Game teamed up with Idaho Power, strategically placing platforms on safe poles in places where osprey are likely to be. The industrious birds love to intertangle bright ropes and bailing twine into their nest, and sometimes they get trapped in those construction materials. Idaho Power crews helped free this osprey that became entangled in its own nest near Blackfoot, but the bird was badly injured and eventually died at a rehab center. Fishing line can also cause problems for osprey, and here where my favorite osprey fish, look what I found right on the bank. There's simply no excuse for leaving this on the ground or in the water. Monofilament is recyclable, and there might be a receptacle like this one near your favorite spot. It will be a hazard to many wildlife, not just osprey, but a lot of other birds and wildlife get entangled in fishing line. And it can be around for up to 600 years, so it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Even if you didn't drop it, if you see this or this, why not pick it up? It may just help you and others see something like this. There he goes. Or this. Steve Liebenthal, Idaho News 6.